All right, boys and girls, so for today's assignment, we're going to be working on reading a book together, and then you're going to be completing a predictions chart. So a couple of things. Yesterday, we talked about predictions. Just to give you a reminder, predictions is talking about what you think will happen next. We start off with saying, I predict that, and we make very good guesses on what we think will happen next. So for today's assignment, you will see that I have the book right here that I'm reading to you right now. Along with that today, you will also have your prediction chart open so if you go to ELA and you go to classwork you will see that you have a prediction chart okay so what's going to happen is while I'm reading the book today I'm going to stop at these places and then I will give you an opportunity to write what you predict okay you can always pause if I'm going too fast you can pause then come back and play the video as you go all right so we're gonna read an extraordinary egg by Leo Leone I will stop, I will let you predict at these places. You can always pause if you need. Here we go. An extraordinary egg. On Pebble Island, there lived three frogs, Marilyn, August, and one who was always somewhere else. That's one's name was Jessica, that one's name was Jessica. Jessica was full of wonder. She would go on long walks way to the other side of Pebble Island and return at the end of the day shouting, look what I found. And even if it was nothing but an extra, an extra, an ordinary little pebble, she would say, isn't it extraordinary? But Marilyn and August were never impressed. One day in a mound of stones, she found one that stood out from all the others. It was perfect, white like the snow and round like the full moon on a midsummer night. Even though it was almost as big as she was, Jessica decided to bring it home. I wonder what Marilyn and August will say when they see this, she thought as she rolled the beautiful stone to the small inlet where the three of them lived. So let's stop right here. Let's go to our predictions chart. What will happen when Jessica brings the egg home? This is when you can pause and write, I predict that, and tell me what you think will happen when she brings it home. I will continue on. Please remember that you can pause. I'm going to go on to the next one. Here we go. Here we go. Look what I found, she shouted triumphantly. A huge pebble. This time, Marilyn and August were truly astonished. That is not a pebble, said Marilyn. Who knew everything about everything? It's an egg, a chicken egg. A chicken egg? How do you know it's a chicken egg, asked Jessica, who had never heard of chickens. Marilyn smiled. There are some things you just know. A few days later, the frogs heard a strange noise coming from the egg. They watched in amazement as the egg cracked and out crawled a long scaly creature that walked on four legs. See, exclaimed Marilyn, I was right, it is a chicken. A chicken, they all shouted. The chicken took a deep breath, grunted, gave each of the astonished frogs a look and said in a small raspy voice, where is the water? Straight ahead, the frogs cried out excitedly. The chicken threw herself into the water and the frogs dove in after her. To their surprise, the chicken was a good swimmer and fast too. And she showed them new ways to float and paddle. They had a wonderful time together and played from sun up to sundown. And so it went for many days. Then one day when Jessica was somewhere else, August and Marilyn saw a commotion in the water below them. Someone was in trouble. Quickly, the chicken dove into the dark pool. August and Marilyn were frightened. What will happen after the chicken sees Jessica left in the water? What do you think is going to happen? So predict, I predict that. You can pause, answer it, come back to the story. After a few long moments, the chicken reappeared, carrying Jessica. I'm all right, she called. I got tangled in the weeds, but the chicken saved me. 
From that day on, Jessica and her rescuer were inseparable friends. Whenever Jessica went, the chicken went too. They traveled all over the island. They went to Jessica's secret thinking place. Moving on. And to the Great Pebble Monument. One day they went to a place where Jessica had never been before. A red and blue bird flew down from a tree. Oh, there you are, it exclaimed when it saw the chicken. Your mother has been looking all over for you. Come, I'll take you to her. What do you think is going to happen when they go to the mother? You're going to go to your prediction chart. What did Jessica and the chicken see? Predict what's going to happen? You can pause right now before we continue the story, answer this question, and then we'll move back on. All right, let's go on. They followed the bird for a very long time. They walked and walked and they walked. They walked under the warm sun and the cool moon and then they came upon the extraordinary creature they had ever seen. It was asleep, but when it heard the little chicken shout, Mother! It slowly opened one eye, smiled an enormous smile, and in a voice as gentle as the whispering grass said, Come here, my sweet little alligator. And the little chicken climbed happily on her mother's nose. Now it's time for me to go, said Jessica. I'll miss you very much, little chicken. Come visit us soon and bring your mother too. Jessica couldn't wait to tell Marilyn in August what had happened. As she neared the inlet, she shouted, Guess what I found? And she told them all about it. And do you know what the mother chicken said to her baby? Jessica asked. She called her, My sweet little alligator. Alligator, said Marilyn. What a silly thing to say. And the three frogs couldn't stop laughing. The end. All right, boys and girls, this is the end of our story. If you need to go back and pause at any moment, you may do so. Don't forget to fill out the prediction chart, prediction chart as you go along. If you have any questions, I'm here.